Dear students, in the last two videos, we have discussed in detail regarding the aryl chromium complexes, its preparation, its reactions, etc. Now, in this video, we shall discuss about carbene chromium complex, another organometallic reagent based on chromium. It's cro chromium carbene complex or carbene chromium complex. Now, it is synthesized by adding alkyl lithium to hexacarbonyl chromium and which is followed by O-methylation. Now, the alkyl uh, halide, I mean sorry, alkyl lithium which we have used here is methyl lithium. Here you have the hexacarbonyl chromium. The methyl lithium gets added on to one of the carbonyl group. So, here you have CrCO6 times, now it is CrCO5 times and to one of the carbonyl group, the methyl lithium gets added or alkyl lithium gets added. The lithium goes on to the oxygen and the methyl group goes on to the carbon. This one followed by uh, methylation, the lithium is replaced by a methyl group. So, that is the synthesis of chromium carbene complex and this chromium carbene complex is a fissure type carbene or fissure carbene wherein you have a heteroatom on the double bonded carbon similar to our alkylidine. In alkylidine we have an alkyl group attached to the double bonded carbon while in fissure carbon you have a heteroatom attached to the double bonded carbon to the heteroatom an alkyl group is attached. So, the car chromium carbene complex is a fissure type carbene. Now, this chromium carbene complex can exist as resonance structures. Now, this uh, metal atom can take up a negative charge and uh, the oxygen over here can take up a positive charge. So, it can exist uh, in two resonance structures. Where, uh, one is the uh, uh, metal where it is having a negative charge. So, the reactions will be based on these resonating structures. And the carbene, chromium carbene complex can be used for various uh, uh, reactions like aldyl condensation, Michael addition, cycloaddition, benzanulation, cyclopropanation, etc. And in all these cases, the uh, CC bond is formed, a new carbon-carbon bond is formed in all these type of reactions using chromium carbene complex. Now, let us see how the reaction happens. Now, here you can see the structure of uh, the chromium carbene complex or carbene chromium complex. Now, here the uh, hydrogen attached to the alkyl group which is in turn attached to the double bonded carbon here. This hydrogen is acidic in nature and the base can easily abstract that proton. So, uh, proton abstraction is possible, base can act on it, the proton can be taken up and you will get a carbanion over here. In another uh, type of reaction, a nucleophile can easily attack this carbon on the chromium carbene. Now, uh, this, this carbon is, will be electrophilic in nature similar to our carbonyl carbon C double bond O, instead of that you have C double bond R, CR. Okay, so a, a nucleophile can easily come and attack on this carbon. And in another set of reactions, an electrophile can come and attack on the oxygen. Now, that is also possible. So, uh, and uh, uh, another set of reactions, this whole heteroatom part can be replaced by another heteroatom instead of O alkyl, you can have S alkyl that is sulfur or N alkyl nitrogen, such heteroatoms can be uh, brought in. So, we shall see all these reactions. Now, here you have the, uh, we shall discuss the heteroatom substitution first. Uh, see here, you have the hexacarbonyl chromium, you have the alkyl lithium, the alkyl lithium gets added on to the hexacarbonyl chromium, one of the carbonyl group and then you are carrying out ortho O methylation and the methyl group or al o, o alkylation, the alkyl groups get added on to this. Now, treat it with thionyl compound, the sulfur gets 
added here the OR is replaced by SR. You treat it with amino compound, the uh, OR is replaced by NR. So the heteroatom can be replaced, oxygen can be replaced by sulfur or nitrogen. And then these, uh, this can be later on carried, used for further reactions to bring in uh, uh, reactions involving heteroatoms. So that's one particular reaction wherein the heteroatom on the carbonyl, uh, uh, sorry, on the carbene chromium complex is replaced. Now we shall see the nucleophilic substitution reaction. In nucleophilic substitution reaction, uh, we have said that it is the uh, double bonded carbon which gets uh, just electrophilic and the nucleophile can easily attack onto. So here you are using an uh, alkyl lithium, aryl lithium compound, the nucleophilic part, the phenyl part gets attached onto this carbon and uh, you can see here the phenyl group has got attached to this carbon and you get a diaryl compound. Now this chromium, chromium carbonyl part can be easily removed and you will get a, the diaryl compound. So that's one example for nucleophilic substitution. In another example here we are introducing amino group. We are introducing amino group not to the heteroatom but to the carbonyl, uh, to this double bonded carbon, nucleophilic reaction. See here the nitrogen gets attacked on, attached onto this carbon and in, uh, double bond the electron on the carbon goes on to the uh, chromium. Now the negative charge, the chromium has a, gets a negative charge and the amino group gets a positive charge and uh, the negative charge comes back and the methoxy group moves off taking along with the hydrogen from the nitrogen and you get the uh, NHR group attached over here. So here we have replaced the OR by NHR. So this is uh, 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 heteroatom substitution via nucleophilic addition. Alright, now coming to another reaction, Michael type reaction. See here, it is to this carbon that the double bond is getting attached. To this carbon, not to the carbene carbon, but to the uh, next adjacent double bonded carbon. And there is an electron transfer and this ring gets attached to this compound. It's a type of Michael type of reaction. Now we can have a Diels-Alder type reaction also. See here, this is a, a, a double bonded group is attached to the carbonyl carbon. You have the diene here and the diene gets attached to this double bond and you get this compound, a Diels-Alder type reaction. Okay, now coming to the next set of reaction. That is the reaction via metal carbene anion. Now uh, we have uh, earlier said that the hydrogen present on this carbon is acidic in nature and so this epoxide can come and attack onto this carbon when this uh, hydrogen is removed, replay, I mean this removed, one hydrogen is removed and the negative charge is obtained. The epoxide comes and attacks. Okay, the epoxide gets attached to this carbon and ring opening on the epoxide happens and you can see here ring open epoxide and the lithium from this N-butyl lithium gets attached over here. Later on what happens is the oxygen atom which is attached to lithium attacks this electrophilic carbon, a sort of nucleophilic attack happens and the uh, methoxy group is removed and you get intramolecular cyclized product. You get an intramolecular cyclized product from the epoxide. So using an epoxide you are attaining a 5 member ring, heteroatom ring. Alright, so that is the reaction via metal carbene anion. An anion is formed over here on this carbon by the removal, abstraction of a proton from here because this proton is acidic. 
Now, another set of reaction is a cyclopropanation reaction, wherein we can synthesize or prepare cyclopropanes. Now, cyclopropanes can be synthesized by treating the uh, carbene with an alkene. So, first, a 2 plus 2 addition occurs onto the, uh, between the alkene and the carbene, and then this is followed by uh, cyclization, ring formation. Now, here uh, initially uh, a carbonyl group is lost from the carbene, sorry, chromium, alright, and then the uh, alkene gets added on to this uh, chromium. Uh, carbene bond, CRC double bond. See here you can see these new two bonds are formed from the, with the alkene. Now this particular cyclobutane compound, it is called metallocyclobutane. Okay, this metallocyclobutane can be used, can be decomposed for the formation of cyclopropane. See here you can see there is a rearrangement taking place and this, this bond between the chromium and the carbon gets attached to this uh, uh, alkenyl carbon. All right. And this chromium carbonyl part is lost, is removed. See here, it's removed. The complex decomplexation happens. And the decomplexation happens by cyclopropanation. So, cyclopropanes can be synthesized using carbon-chromium complex. Another important reaction related to carbene chromium complex is DOTS reaction or benzanulation. Now, DOTS reaction is very interesting. You get uh, para dioxygenated arene complex. Now, what's happening in DOTS reaction is the phenyl substituted carbene reacts with alkyne triple bonded compound to form para dioxygenated arene. So, you can see two oxygen atoms in the para position. Uh, a naphthol type of compound is formed. Now, how is this happening? What is the mechanism? See here, you can see the mechanism of uh, the reaction here. First, the one carbonyl group is lost from the uh, chromium carbon complex and then the uh, alkyne gets complexed onto this and uh, the way we have seen in the last slide, cyclization happens and you get metallocyclobutane and then this loses one, uh, I mean sorry, one carbonyl group is introduced and this forms a penta pentacyclic compound. See one carbonyl group is introduced here, CO comes out, comes again, comes back. Now, this is an intermediate form. This intermediate undergoes uh, ring opening and a ketene is formed here. Okay, a ketene is formed after insertion of a carbonyl group. Now, this uh, 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 ketene, then later on, this particular compound undergoes intramolecular rearrangement or intramolecular cyclization and you get the a para oxygenated uh, arene complex, para dioxygenated arene complex. Here the aromatization takes place by abstracting the bridged proton. So that's DOTS reaction. Okay, so you get a metallocyclobutane ring here followed by insertion of carbonyl group and that results in the formation of a ketene which undergoes ring closure followed by a proton shift. So that's a dot reaction, dots reaction. So these are the reactions related to chromium carbene complexes. If you have any more clarifications to be done, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.